morning, Betsy. Good morning, Mercy. Good How morning. are you, Mercy? We're Betsy? fine. Yeah, we're fine. How are you? Yes, doing good. Doing good. Yes, tell me. Um, so, we are very excited for today's special. Today's Daily Diamonds? Yes. yes. Okay, very good. Okay, so we have been starting a lot more information, new information. Yes. So, uh, first of all, before I open the today's topic, uh, do you believe in prophecy? Yes. You know prophets? I, yes, I Who are prophets? Uh, prophets are those who speak. Speak the prophecy. future, right? Yeah. The that prophecy. is uh, what's going to happen in yeah, the later days. They will prophesy before. Okay. Something that happened in the birth of Jesus Christ also. Are you aware of it? Yes. Not one or two. First of all, the birth by virgin, it was prophesied. 400 and 500 years before really? this happened in reality. The prophets like Isaiah, Jeremiah, Agai, so many people, they were prophesying about the birth and the life of Jesus Christ. The first one was about the virgin uh, getting um, or giving birth, you know, uh, virgin giving birth. That was, um, you know, uh, um, uttered long before. And the next one, if you see, the, um, the prophecy concerned the birthplace of Jesus Christ that he is going to be born in Bethlehem that was also prophesied long before. Was it? If you see Matthew 1 22 which was spoken by the Lord to the prophet saying behold the virgin shall be with child and bear a son and they shall call his name Emmanuel which is translated God is with us. So the first birth of Jesus by, by Virgin Mary was prophesied, which is fulfilled. The second thing, Matthew 2, 5, 8 said, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not the least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you shall come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. So the place, the birthplace of Jesus Christ was also prophesied long before which is which was fulfilled right exactly right yes and the at uh, the fourth time if you see that um uh, you know in 215 we read and was there until the death of Herod that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the lord to the prophet saying out of the egypt i called my son so this is another time like you know when when Herod tried to kill the child child was protected in Egypt, Egypt yes. right? But there's a prophet, a prophecy written by a prophet which was fulfilled. So that happened. Oh. And the next incident we see, Jeremiah the prophet was writing, a voice was heard in Rama, lamentation, weeping and great mourning. This is about the, uh, you know, the King Herod was announcing the killing of all yes. the children below two years because he wants to destroy Jesus. That was uttered long before. And finally, prophets, they also prophesied that Jesus will be, will be called as Nazarene. That means he will live in Nazareth. Oh. And that's why Nazarene. You know, that was also, if we read in 23rd word, he shall be called a Nazarene, which was spoken by the prophets and it is fulfilled. And all this incident, the five incidents I have quoted you, which was uttered many, many, many hundred years before, which exactly fulfilled. Initially, there was a lot of things uh, happened, but everything else led to the prophetic, you know, um, prophetic proclamation, and also it manifested according to the prophecy, right? Yes. So that's the beautiful thing. You know, um, God is the God of present, yesterday and tomorrow, he is the God of present, past and future. He is in control of everything else. My dear friends, children, youths, don't worry about your future. Don't worry about your present life. If you are going through some troubles, some sorrows, some agonies, don't worry about it. Because God is in total control of everything else. If you just believe it, it will truly come to happen. It will definitely happen in your life. God is in control. How? In the life of Jesus Christ. He chose a very humble beginning, but that happened exactly 
the same way how the prophets are prophesied long before. The same God is working even today in our life and in your life too. Cheers, believe and conquer. And God bless you.